Hello Power Users, Bitnik Bukowski here and today we will be creating a simple collection with the current user's security roles, uh, which could be visible in the Power App. And why to do this? Because you may have when you may need your admin screen created, or you may need your app, uh, some parts of your app accessible only if the user have basically a certain role. So you uh, on each loading of your landing screen, you can create a functionality which will give you the ability to see that that roles in a collection because we will be creating a collection. Okay, so let's start. La la la, I have my my landing screen already and my check permission button and in here I want to start a collection, clear collect. This will be creating a collection. Let's call it collection roles. Remember about uh, about coding guidelines, guidelines. So this is what the prefix is. And what I want to do in this collection, I want to look up certain user. So I will use the lookup. This will uh, look up only the first occurrence of my uh, database. So I want to search the uh, in the dataverse. I want to search the users table on which all the my existing user are stored and I want to have the domain name, domain name, yeah, equal to user, which is function dot. And in here you, you have the, this is the function, which will show you the current user, current user details, right? So we have email, full name and image. I want to check by the email because this email will be uh, will be unique for the user. It's like a GUID. And then I want to check, oh, this will be a big, uh, big data table. I want to go to, I always remember, forget how, how you call it. So I uh, will we need a lot of scrolling. Mm. Okay, security security roles as you can see those are those are the columns which are connected with the security roles so here i have the security roles and uh, system roles association this is the correct name of the table where security roles are stored and when i find this this lookup um, this lookup record, I find also the names of the security roles which are associated to it. So I need to, to close the lookup to press the, and again, the dot, and then I will have the name. So here, what's the problem No. Okay. Sorry, I was one parenthesis too uh, too high on, for this to work. But after this is found, oh, this one, this function, then I will have the table of my security roles. Mm, our apps couldn't read re the data, but this will be the table. And from this table, I want to find only the name column. So let's see how it's it's working. I have on my landing screen, on my permission screen, I have just the, the gallery with items. Ah, sorry. Here with items with the collection roles. So I've already have the, the names. So if I go here, press the check permission, as you see, the names were, were loaded and I have the system administrator, environment maker, and this is not needed. I have the system administration, the environment maker, and the basic user. So this is working. 
okay so what what i want to do with this with this i want now to create some kind of of check whether the the part of application should be visible or not let's create the three buttons let's go to the visibility visible and if visible should be true if let's clear this uh, visible should be true only if and var sorry let's start with admin system administrator in collection roles so is it visible let's change also the text to visible for admins okay cool sorry let's let's copy this like this and with this uh, i want to go to the visible and go with the environment maker in roles visible for environment run at makers cool and this will be of course visible for basic users cool so now oh sorry this this will also need the visible update so, cool Okay, so we have a situation, the, the perfect situation, in which I have all the roles which is needed for this. But you would ask yourself, is it working for, for the other users? So let's publish this. I have already a user, which is only a basic user, uh, uh, basic user visible in my application. So this is my test suite. Let's publish this version and let's check publish up was it published again i hope so let's check let's play this oh let's refresh for the new version of course i have my landing screen and as you can see, sorry, this user had environment maker and basic users. So basically those, those two buttons were visible for him, but not the admin button, which is created and visible for me, of course. But this functionality is working, right? So if I will drop the environment maker for my user, then, then of course, uh, the application will be not uh, the the button will be not visible for this user so this is how it's working uh, for also the and the other users as you can see you can hide some part of your applications for for your users that would be great okay that's working so hope that was helpful and if yes then you can sub like etc i have many other videos in my uh, my channel uh, including power apps power automate desktop power automate etc so feel free and enjoy the the free knowledge so see you being of course out